Hello and welcome to the fifth part of my Kerbal Space Program plugin tutorial series. In this part we'll be adding some final touches to the window positioning. By first creating a rect extension which will centre a rectangle object on the screen, including some error handling to prevent a possible divide by zero. Then setting the window to centre itself when the x and y coordinates are equal to zero, which basically means at the point where it first draws itself in the top left of the screen. And finally clearing up a bit of code by making the window position a static variable. This will allow every module to use the same window position as well as keeping the position saved over multiple flights. But do not think of this as saving the position when exiting and starting the game though. That will be covered in a later video. OK, so this should be quite a simple one today. All we need to do is create a rect extension with the centre screen function on it. So let's go to extensions and add a new class and call it rect extensions. And we don't need any of these using statements. We just need using Unity Engine on this one. And make that a public static class and the center screen function will be public static it's going to give back a rectangle object and center screen and in here we'll need this rect and let's call it this rect and we'll return this rect. We're going to basically change what's in here so it does end up on the centre of the screen and pass it back. But we will need a little bit of error handling because there will be some division involved in this. So we will need if screen dot width is greater than zero and screen dot height is greater than zero. Uh, them ones probably aren't really needed, but I will include them anyway just to be safe. And we want this rec dot width is greater than zero. It's a floating point number, not an integer. So I do a zero f, uh, and this rec dot height is greater than zero as well. So it makes sure that the width and height is bigger than zero and also as well as for the screen but for the rectangle as well so there will be a width and height to the actual position so it means that it is there it has been processed and now this rec dot x so this gets the position horizontally so x equals screen dot width divided by two which is the point in the middle of the screen take away this dot rec dot width so that will be the middle of the rectangle to position itself and we'll do the same for y as well so this will be for our height so screen dot height divided by two so that will be in the center of the screen again so screen dot height divided by two will be in the middle and then this dot rect height divided by 2 so that will be the middle of the rectangle itself will end up in the middle and it's taking that away so the corner of the rectangle is going to be up here somewhere and it's going, going to go the width and the height and what ends up happening is you're going to basically double the width and the height so the point of the center of the rectangle is always going to be in the middle of the screen so we've got that part done now. We've already got plugin tutorial extensions up here, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, we just need to add a little bit to our on draw method. So let's open up this uh, section by bracketing it. And then after where it's got window position, because it's going to need a window uh, width and a height. So it has to be after that, we will put an if statement. So if window position dot x equals zero, or is equal to zero and window position dot y is also equal to a zero it will then do what we want in here uh, which will basically be we don't really need that but it will be win window position equals window position 
start center screen and that will work perfectly. We'll also add here instead of private rect we'll make that a static variable so that will basically that won't change depending on which module is going to be running that is always static to the class itself and we will build that and run the game so let's open this up tutorial plugin it's copied the DLL over as always okay and the game has started up now so as is normally the case we'll go and start our game up and let's go in here and add our tutorial part onto our ship and as you can see now our window has uh, been created in the center of the screen we can drag it from that center of course and now if we go end flight and restart the flight because of the static variable it now stays there um, whereas before if we restarted the flight it would always appear back up into the top corner so that's good and that's all done it was a fairly short video today but I thank you for watching through and if you found it informative please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.